Hi there, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you all are doing great. So can we just talk about how the house of Sussex has actually been breaking the internet? And they have done this just 14 days apart. So when Megan went to the LA Children's Hospital and she was looking all beautiful in her red dress, she broke the internet. Every media outlet was talking about her visit and how she looked so good, including international media outlets. And then yesterday when Raymana Wild posted this video of Prince Harry surfing uh, in Kelly Slatter's ranch, it also broke the internet. Literally, everyone was talking about this. Many people just didn't expect to see Harry surfing. And as you can see, the headlines were just so many. For example, this one saying that Prince Harry's impressive surfing video blows the internet's mind. And that is exactly what, what actually happened. It blew the internet. Like literally everyone was talking about it. Even Sky News Australia. Newsweek, GB News, MSN, uh, Us Weekly, and literally every media outlet that you can mention. And it seems like people are just amazed by Harry's skills. And you know, this actually cemented the fact that Harry is happy and he is living a wonderful life in California. It's so evident that he has embraced his life there and he's living it to the fullest. And then there were these two headlines that actually made my day. One was saying how the British monarch is living the California dream. The Duke of Sussex got covered up at the surf ranch in Lamu, guided by the uh, guided by the in-house surf coach Raymana Van Bastola. And well, it's just funny that they are actually referring Prince Harry as the monarch. While at the same time, it's being reported that majority of Australians don't even know that King Charles is actually their head of state. And then there's this other headline saying that this video of Prince Harry surfing a wave like a god will make your day. Well, now I understand why the derangers were very mad. Harry being called these very big titles, I mean, have you ever seen William or Charles or any other person being referred to this way? Well, it's because they are boring, right? And Harry and Meghan are interesting. And I think they do gets lots and lots of attention. And well, Dr. Shola even weighed in on this. And this is what she said, that Harry living his best life always makes me smile, carry on. You know, I actually admire Dr. Shola very much because she's been a staunch supporter of Harry and Meghan. She is a person who usually speaks the truth, especially regarding the Sussexes. And she's not afraid to call uh, the derangers out or call the royal family or even the UK media out for their BS against Harry and Meghan. And well, it's usually so good uh, hearing her say positive things about the Sussexes. And yeah, it's so obvious that Harry is truly living his best life. And for us who have actually seen uh, the Sussexes journey ever since Meghan got married into that family, um, I think it makes us happy seeing them enjoying life, having a wonderful time, smiling, and just uh, showing that they have truly moved on. And yesterday, after this video was released, so many people are like, um, the British media have been saying how Harry wants to come back to the UK. He wants to rejoin the royal fold. And then um, people are just like, you know what? This doesn't look like a man who wants to go back to the UK. It doesn't look like someone who's uh, actually yearning to go back into that gilded cage. And honestly, I agree. He's having a blast right now. And as Meghan put it while she was in Colombia, she together with Prince Harry are truly in their era of joy. And it reflects in the work they are doing. Meanwhile, uh, as Prince Harry and Meghan are having a wonderful time, the UK media are still fantasizing about the day that Harry is going to come back. 
Well, we all know that is not going to happen, right? So it seems like they've been following each and everything that the Sussexes do. And just the other day, Richard Eden, aka Maureen um, Anders, actually wrote this exclusive for the Daily Fell, saying how the Sussexes had purchased a home in Portugal. And to me, this just seems more of speculation than actually facts because there are no pictures of uh, their home in Portugal. You know, I think these people just got information from probably uh, their very unreliable sources as usual and then they present it as facts. Don't forget that Richard Eden was actually called out for his lies not long ago. So I won't take his word as final. But if Harry and Meghan have actually done this, then it's good for them. I'm happy for them. I mean, that is something they truly deserve. And um, obviously, these derangers and the UK media are very mad about this story. And guess what? Maureen Eden actually wrote another article for the Daily Mail crying out loud about how um, Meghan will set up a rival court in Portugal and never visit the UK. <laughs> You know, first of all, I don't understand why these people care so much about whatever the Sussexes are doing. Even if they have purchased a home in Portugal, why is it Richard Eden's business? Why is it anyone's business? They are not working members of that family. They are not taxpayer funded. So why are they following every move that the Sussexes make? See, Harry and Meghan have two young children who go to school and they might enjoy some vacation in Europe in the years to come. And if that happens, it's entirely their business and that's all it will be, family vacations. But you see, Richard Eden is actually trying so much to make all of this drama when it doesn't need to be. So this is what Maureen Ayers or Maureen Myers, I don't actually remember the exact thing. This is what he was writ he was writing on his piece saying that uh, when she left Britain in 2020, the Duchess of Sussex welled up during the bittersweet farewell to royal staff. Adding that my colleague Brioni Gordon, who was with Meghan and Prince Harry that day, said the former actress appeared to be quietly devastated and had tears in her eyes at her last private function at Buckingham Palace. Well, that is no secret because we all even saw that in the Harry and Meghan documentary. So, uh, news flash, Richard Eden, this isn't breaking news. And then he continues, at the time, I wondered if we would ever see Meghan again in this country. Now it would appear that she has found a way of keeping a foothold in Europe without actually having to set foot in Britain. Honestly, people like Richard Eden make me sick. See, Meghan hasn't actually talked about the UK in like forever. And then the last time she was in the UK, she didn't even step in UK soil. She was just there at Heathrow Airport to pick up her husband because they were going to Nigeria. So she hasn't stepped in Britain. She actually said that she has moved on because the British media still keep talking about her. Yet the only people who can't uh, stop talking about her and, ma and make everything about Meghan every single day are just the UK media and that royal family. So even though she has moved on, they are the ones who haven't moved on. So you can't really blame Meghan for how uh, the media is talking about her. I mean, that is not her problem. That is the UK media's problem. And then skipping to another part, Eden says how acquiring a golden visa, that is the American visa, would help Meghan as she and her husband develop the plans to become the rival royals across the water, enabling them to travel easily through European countries. Well, the thing is, um, Richard Eden is actually trying to force this narrative of uh, the Sussexes are trying to do something against the royal family. They're trying to set up some rivalry against the royal family. But that is not the case. They have just bought a home. I mean, how is that now being translated to 
them setting up a rival uh, court or something like that. I mean, people like Richard Eden actually need to get a life because it can't just be about drama all the time. People still need to enjoy their lives. They still need to do the things they want to do without it being translated to something that it is not. And did you actually know that Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack live in Portugal and they have been like very close friends to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And they have probably decided to buy a home there so that when they go to holiday, they can have a wonderful time with uh, the Eugenie and her husband's family. So it's nothing to do with the royal family. Rather, it's just to do with the family of Harry and Meghan. So it's none of anyone's business, really. So I don't know why people like Richard Eden would even uh, meddle in other people's businesses. They need to get a life. So I believe I've shared enough with you for now. You can kindly leave your comments down below. And yeah, before I even forget, I'm just glad if this story is actually true. I'm glad that the Sussexes have chosen any other place but the UK for a holiday home. This is actually fantastic news. And I hope this is true. So with that said, uh, let me leave it at that. And I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Bye.